Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at deep motion. Now, I already made a video about this, but this time I'm going to show you how you can create motion here with just using a video file, exporting an FBX, importing that in the Real Engine 4 and applying that to a MetaHuman. I know it's a lot of steps, but let's go ahead and do this. So right here, we're in deep motion. Now I have the trial, so I don't have that many minutes or seconds of animation. So you guys owe me some minutes here. Uh, so you can see I have a minute and 29 Hopefully that's a minute. Yeah, a minute 29 of animation remaining. So let's create a new animation. Click on default. And I have a file here that I got from uh, stock footage Adobe for free. So go ahead and check this out. It's just this guy dancing. We're going to do an FBX output. Make sure that's turned on. Foot locking. Let's do auto. I'm not going to do frame reduced and we're going to turn on a physics filter because you do not want to be self penetrating yourself. If you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much when your hands is going through your body and head and stuff like that. Uh, by clicking this, you're going to do less cleanup later in Unreal Engine 4. So let's go and uh, look at the best results right here. Max video length 300 seconds and max size 50 MB. So I had to shrink this 4K video to less than 50 megabytes because I have the freemium plan uh, alright so here we go I uh, made sure the video doesn't have anything blocking everything is good lighting is good let's go ahead and create this animation as you can see I think it's 30 megs that I did in 10.63 seconds okay so this is gonna do its thing while that's doing its thing let's go to Unreal Engine 4 and let's open up a meta human I have bridge opened and really since I already have these downloaded alright so I'll do this I'll export this and this is going to take it straight to Unreal Engine 4 here. Now we're probably going to have to uh, restart because I don't have all the plugins enabled. This is a brand new project that I just created. So yep, there it is. Enable, 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 and then this is going to let me restart it. Alright, so that's restarting. Let's go back to our Deep Motion Animate 3D. That's still loading it looks like. Now there have different prices here. If you look at this upgrade, I'm going to right click and open a new window. You're going to see that this is free, no credit card, 60 animation seconds a month, export max 720p. That's why I shrunk mine to 720p, $9, all that stuff. You can look at that. And it looks like 7,200 animation seconds, 7,200 divided by 60 a month, 180 a month. So this is if you really can't afford a motion capture suit, which, you know, nowadays... You just really, you just really have to calculate how much animation you're doing. You know, be smart about it. If you're only doing like, you know, 60 seconds a month kind of animation, and stuff like this would make sense. But if you're trying to create your own freaking Netflix movie or something, you're gonna need more than 7,200 animation seconds per month. So, this is just more options, is what I'm saying. At the end of the day, it's just tailored to what you absolutely need. So let's go back. So before I didn't make a video on how to do this because I told them to come out with a preset and they messaged me and said, hey, yeah, we, we went ahead and did the preset so it should be easier now. And I'm going to show you guys where to get that preset that I'm talking about. But as you can see right here, uh, the dance, it's me dancing right there, pretty much translated it into CG using AI. You know, AI is just insane nowadays, but there you go. Let's do that, and we're going to download the animations right here, and we're going to choose FBX, and we're going to do crap. We're going to do male, adult male. Whoa. That dude is like, let's be working out. That's some, let's, let's do this one. All right, so I got dance, dance, adult zip. I'm going to go ahead and show that in the folder. I'm going to delete the female. Because we have a male metahuman. I'm going to extract this right here. We have this now, which is good. And we're going to go to Unreal Engine 4. All right. So all we have to do is I'm going to create a folder just for the sake of simplicity and neatlinessness. Here we go. Uh, FBX Anim. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to go back to the dance dance. We are going to do the include typos. I'm going to leave everything. I meant to minimize that. I'm going to leave everything as is. Make sure you have skeletal mesh checked. Skeleton to none. Import the animations. All that stuff should be good. And then what we're going to do now is just click on import all. 
It's going to do its magic. As you can see, it's right here. We have this character now inside Unreal Engine 4. And let's go ahead and take care of that preset that I was talking about. So the preset is the bone mapping preset. At first, I was like, you know, uh, for you guys out there, I'm just going to make it a little bit easier for you. So this is what they did. They created the bone mapping preset for you guys, which is nice. So that's what I was waiting on. That's why I haven't made a video about this because, look, I, I <laughs> freaking mapping bones is not fun so i have it right here bone mapping animate 3d i'm going to copy this asset to our project file go to my unreal projects it's called speed i'm going to go to content and i'm just going to paste it right here since i have 4.26 that's what we have open so i'm going to go back right here and the bone mapping is now here so that is perfect so we have a meta human which aoe or a aoe I'm going to drag and drop him in the scene here. It's just loading a little bit. All right, so I'm going to drag and drop him here. I'm going to change the camera because by default it is super fast. So I have AOE already in here. And now we're going to grab our FBX Anim adult male right here. Oh, <laughs> he's on a T-pose. Gosh, we, we got to figure out a standard here, man. We're going A-pose or T-pose. Because this whole A-posing and T-posing is pretty annoying. So figure it out. A-pose or T-pose? You know, make make it a standard, guys. So here we go. We have our FBX. We'll go to details right here. I'm going to make this up. And I'm going to go to the skeletal mesh because we have to take a look at that skeleton. Look at the skeleton right here. And I'm going to go check character, bones, all hierarchy just to take a look. And I'm going to go to options, show retargeting options. Okay, so hips, spine, so it doesn't have a root, so that's okay. I'm going to make everything here skeleton except for the hips let me check out the name bones obviously not gonna match unreal engine 4 and that is where the anim asset that i wanted to share with you guys that is where this baby is gonna come in handy so i'm gonna go to retarget manager right here i'm gonna change this to humanoid and as you can see if i click on auto map right now the root is the hips the pelvis is the shoulder that's not gonna look good all right, so let's clear that. And to load that thing that we just downloaded that I showed you guys right here, the deep motion bone mapping, all you have to do is go to load right here, click on that, and boom, shakalaka, boom, it's done. You're now done. If you go to show advance, it's all it's already remapped there as well. And like I said, thank you, Deep Motion, for letting this available for download because this is going to help your customers tremendously, and it's awesome that you guys listen. So here we go. Uh, we have that mapped, but now we have to take either the meta human into a T pose or this guy into an A pose. So what I'll do is I'll do a dirty A pose. <laughs> do a dirty, uh, I'm gonna do a dirty A pose here. I'm gonna grab the lower arm. Oh gosh, lower arm. And man, why do you have to go? Oh, not that way. Other way. Do 45 degree there. Right arm. 45 de <laughs> negative 45 degree there. That's a pretty that's a pretty dirty A pose, okay? If you want it to be perfect, go for it. But we're going to make this tutorial short and sweet because that's how I like it. Um, I'm going to have it here. It looks like it didn't work. So let me do... There you go. Everything should be skeleton except for the hips because the hips don't lie. All right, here we go. A pose. And I'm going to go to retarget manager. Do not forget the step. Modify. Use current pose. Save. So now we have an A pose. Even though he looks like a T pose, he's an A pose. Let's take a look at our meta human, and we're going to take a look at the skeleton. Now, a lot of people are having problems with this skeleton, but just follow this step. It's pretty much similar. So if you go to body, go to the skeletal mesh right here. Go to the skeleton. Here's your skeleton right here. If you want to change the skeletal mesh, the preview mesh, you can do that as well. Uh, you just have to type in preview. God, I can't spell it today. If you go to preview, it's in one of these. There's a lot of them here. Uh, uh unweighted body this is a tall that one right there actually no that's is that a male yeah that's male yeah looks kind of small yeah you have some preview mesh here now so if you guys want to mess around with that so you can actually see it so that's pretty nice oh that one's the overweight so it's male medium un oh underweight body okay so we're looking for normal weight all right so let's go with normal weight nrw male medium nrw body 
Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so here we go. We got everything in there. Let's go to the target manager right here. We're going to take him to Humanoid right here. And since this is in Real Engine 4 character, it is already set. We don't have to load any ma mappings or anything like that. We go to Skeleton Tree, Options, Retargeting Options. We're going to change everything but the root and pelvis to Skeleton. Here we go. If you're wondering why we do this, try doing it without changing it and you will see right away why you have to change this to skeleton all right so here we go targeting the skeleton save and now we about oh we both have a poses all right guys so now that we have both of them in a poses in the humanoid body we can now retarget some animations so if you go right here you're gonna see the animation sequence drag and drop that to your scene if it's the first time you have to do this because if not it's not gonna work you're gonna get an error you can delete it if you want but we'll leave it there for now Next thing you do is right click on the Dance Dance Adult Male, retarget Anim, duplicate, and we're going to change that skeleton. He's in an A-Post and he should be in an A-Post, we just can't see it right now. Brush retarget, and everything is retargeted. We're going to create a new sequence, cinematics, save. I'm going to create my BP, I mean click the BP, actor sequence, add BP AOE. We're going to remove the, the control rigs, delete the control rigs. We're going to go to the body, track, animation, dance dance. Now he's going to start in an A pose, but after that, as you can see, he is now dancing like the video that we had from Deep Motion. We're going to take this a step further. We're going to do some cleanup real quick because as you can see, he is self-penetrating himself, which is not good. But then again, you're taking a video file and converting it into an actual animation. All right, so the body sizes will not match. That's okay. So right now I'm going to do a quick, dirty control rig cleanup for you guys out there. If you've seen my videos in the past, it's the same exact thing with my Mandalorian behind the scenes, stuff like that. So I'm going to delete these guys. We no longer need them because we have our animation retargeted. As you can see, he's dancing. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Just like that. Oh, did a little split there. All right, here we go. Go to the first frame. See, the arm is really jacked up, but I think it was jacked up in the uh, capture anyway. All right, we're going to go to the first frame. We're going to right-click on the uh, target track. We're going to go ahead and edit with FK Control Rig. Now, you can bake this entire animation to the Control Rig, but for the sake of this tutorial, we can just edit this. Now, depending on your system, the Control Rig right now is pretty buggy, all right? There's some times when I'm in there that I get a lot of lag. Now, I wish... Um, actually, here. L before I finish that. You don't have to bake this. You can actually press X, and it's going to go away. So, what you do next is go to Section, and you're going to click on Additive right here. And that's going to give you some control rigs. Now, I wish there's a way to only add animations to certain bones. That it lets you choose certain bones to animate instead of loading the entire hierarchy. All right, and this is what I mean. If I click down, you're gonna see holy schnitzels! All of his bones are on there. That's pretty heavy. If you're talking like a long mocap, like somebody rapping, can you? I, I, I've I've had some. Uh, frozen Unreal Engine 4 when I'm loading animations with a control link that's really long. So maybe, I don't know, I don't think Unreal really watches my videos, but you know, like maybe if you can just choose the head to be an additive, load them separately somehow, and that would be easier, you know? So here we go. Let's do some cleanup. So if I go to the FK control rig, uh, let's look at that self penetrating. I think it was right here, it penetrated himself right there there see as you can see i am slowing down um in that case what i'm gonna do is actually bake this into a control rig because doing it this way takes less time but it's weird some animations is fast but sometimes it's not so what i'm gonna do i showed you that way already let me go ahead and bake this to the actual control rig so i'm gonna go right click right here all right so i'm gonna go to the animation i'm gonna go to track Bake to control rig, and this is going to load, you know, a little bit. I'm not going to do reduce keys because I want it one-to-one, -one, and it's going to bake it to the control rig. And as you can see, there's going to be some really cool icons. If you go to the left side right here, top left, you can actually hide those manipulators if you don't want them. 
and I'm going to go ahead and move right here. And let's look at that self-penetrating area right here, right there in his belt area. Okay, I'm going to turn off the control rig because I don't really use that. So I'm going to go ahead and hide that for now. If you scroll that, if you scroll down, you're going to see all the keyframes. Now, you don't have to touch these keyframes, and I do not suggest you touch them. But again, you can do additive, meaning you can just add to that. So if you go to section, additive is going to create a new meta human control rig right here. And this is where you make your changes. So we're going to go look for that right there again. And what we're going to do is, let's see, what's that, left, right? Okay, so that's right hand. I always get that confused for some stupid reason. Right hand, all right? You can also type it here if you want, but it's okay. We can find it, right hand, hand, right, right hand. Okay, so let's just type it, hand. All right, here we go. It's the second one right here. Okay, so we're going to look at the FK control. And as you can see, we're moving that now, all right? Now, be very careful. Even though this is non-destructive, you don't want to mess up your animation. But the good thing is, it is additive, so you can just remove it. But it looks like what we actually have to move is his lower arm. So I'm going to look for arm, scroll down, and lower arm R. Ah. Oh. There we go. There. And then what I'm going to do is keyframe that. Boom. And just like that, he is not self-penetrating anymore. So if I go left... Animate, bop. Oh, did he, did he, did he? Nope, nope, out of his pants. Just like that, we made an additive. We fixed that animation. And you can find other stuff like, you know, maybe if you want his head to be up, you know, during this phase, you can do that. Just go head. Okay, so I'm going to look for that head. Go right here, head control, move it up. Keyframe there, and now he's going to pop his head. You know, but obviously you have to pop it down again if you want it to go back to normal. So like I said, just be very careful. Even though it is additive, you still want to be careful. You see that? The little pop like, uh, you know, like, uh, just like that. You know, like you just got RTX 3090 in the mail. It's like, uh, you know, so yeah. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is how you transfer deep motion animation, how you can transfer a video file, just like a video, 2D video, transfer it to motion and import it in Unreal Engine 4 to be used in a meta-human character. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I will see you guys later. So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 4 using the new meta-human characters, but don't know how to do it? Well, I got the video just for you.